in my mind, he might be the most valuable pitcher in the majors, dollar for dollar, of anybody that's around. Congratulations on winning your first gold glove. I thought you would have 10 already, but your first one, how big of a deal is that for you? Bouncer back to the mound and a nice defensive play. Knocked down by Barrios, throw to second one and on to first for the double play. That is gold glove defense right there. Got him! A pick off at second. Gold glove will be in his future, that's for sure. That was my third nominee here. Uh, finally, we get it. So I feel so happy, so proud. Of, uh, I mean, obviously, because the way I see it is we see like all the hard work and hard effort we're putting together. Yeah. We're seeing like pay off. A good scene again here today in Minneapolis. The Blue Jays facing a win or their season is over scenario. They're going to make a pitching change. And Schneider, John Schneider, has already pointed to the pen. So much pressure. Everything on the line. Rios yanked early. I guarantee you he did not want to leave that game, but he's being a good soldier for John Schneider. And he came over and said, hey, man, I get it. Before I ask you about 2024, <coughs> Kevin Gosman told me, you know, he admitted that after the end of last season, it took him a long time to get over the heartbreak of what happened. How long did it take you? Did it take you a while to kind of let it sink in what just had happened? It was tough. I mean, honestly, being on my old home too, in Minnesota, yeah. having the chance to, to, to play good baseball game and try to beat them, we didn't. I mean, that's part of the game. Like, we mm -hmm. had to win or lose, but it took me like four or five days to delete and be relaxed. So those four days after that game, I pitched, I feel like the worst pitch in the middle of the day, like I can't go out there and compete, but I learned from that situation and now that situation made me more stronger. You talk about turning the page. What do you think needed to happen or what needed to be said amongst the people in the club to, to kind of move forward? Did you guys have really honest conversations? Yeah, we did. We did after the, the game, the second game of that series, like we, we had a meeting, like obviously we have people like is being say goodbye. Uh, of the team saying like, you know, they'd be appreciated what we did like for for them But also they must say thank you to the organization and we can you know learn from that and mm -hmm. now we, we I think we are in a better position a much improved Jose Barrios the numbers way better this year than last He has really stabilized the top of this Blue Jays rotation Barrios is in a good spot right now He's starting to look like the ace the Blue Jays acquired him to be in 2021 2023 was more than good. It was outstanding for you. It was a bounce back season. You lowered your ERA whip. You increased your strikeout rate. Jose, when you look back at the entire season, what do you think was the main reason why you were able to bounce back the way you did? I think obviously we work, we do adjustment during between off season 22 and to start the season 23. So also I've been uh, executing better pitches during the game. So that gave me more confidence. And I think that's what my, my change, my transaction, like had that mentally okay. be, be positive and strong. You're one of the leaders on this ball club. What did you notice about the mindset of this team? Because it's relatively the same people outside of a, a couple <clears throat> of new faces. This is the same group that got eliminated. What did you see from the mindset this past spring that you believe you guys can take it deeper in October. Obviously, we, everybody knows we had the talent, we had the, the ability to, to go out there and compete and we ball games. But also, one thing the spring and the time get us is like that, like the situation, like being the, out there and had a series, the one we had last year That's against true, yeah. Minnesota. So that uh, made us like more stronger, more grand, like grow man. Mm -hmm. And also, we learn from that situation. So having the ability, the the, the talent, but also the experience make, make, make us are better. Jose, it's easy to see why you're very easy to uh, root for. Uh, you're a fan favorite. The Blue Jays fans love you. And uh, we wish you the best in 2024. Thank you for doing this. Thank you. Appreciate it. And I hope the people and fans in Toronto enjoy this amazing season.